Hey everybody, Joanna Hasselman here with EssentialHealth.com and today I'm here with Tiffany Rowan. Hello, and we've got Robert who is eight weeks old and in today's video we're going to talk about mastitis. So when you get breast infections, when you get hard and impacted from breastfeeding. So thankfully Robert is here to willingly demonstrate for us. Okay, what we need to know is that first of all do the breast massage on yourself with essential oils at a time where they have a chance to dry out. You don't want to put the baby's face that close to your breast again where it could potentially get in the baby's eye. If you accidentally do that, go ahead and take your V6 oil or your olive oil. Um, the carrier oil will dilute the essential oil. It literally pulls the essential oil into itself. So if you accidentally do get young living essential oils into the baby's eye, it is okay. It's not going to have permanent damage. But it does hurt and it's does uncomfortable for a while, so you can do the V6 or the olive oil right on top of the baby to get that out. So it's very important to just do this massage where your, the oils have a chance to dry out before um, you nurse your baby again. Another thing that we need to know for large-breasted women is that breast does fold over onto the chest, and so we don't want to get oils in the fold of the skin. Um, that's going to be very irritating, so keep that area dry. Stay away from that area. Okay. The pec muscles actually start up here at the shoulder and they come down to the sternum. So you want to do your strokes this way and to the degree of the, um, the pressure in which you can stand it. So if it hurts really bad, just massage it at, um, at the pressure in which you can stand it. We're using lavender oil today. It's very gentle. Um, we know it's astringic, we also know it's antibacterial, uh, antimicrobial. So, thank you, Joanna. Just put it on the breast itself. Whatever strokes, whatever pressure you can stand, work from the sternum all the way up to the shoulder. And I'm not going to touch my friend any lower, <laughs> but you would just cover the whole top of the breast doing that. Um, of course, sometimes we have. Other, other areas that are impacted, so you could do that too. But that's as simple as it is. You're just going to keep doing that a few times during the day, and it works very rapidly. So you're going to notice a difference in the pain level um, just within maybe 20 minutes to an hour of doing this. And then listen to your body. Whenever you start to feel that pain and discomfort again, that would be your body's way of saying, we've used up what you've already given us, and it's time to use some more. So you're going to see not only a rapid difference in the first day in mastitis being reduced, but even in the second day. As with any infection though, even though the symptoms are going away, the infection has not. So you're going to want to keep doing this for at least another two days. And that's how simple it is. Just apply it to the breast, massage it to the comfort level, the pressure level that you can withstand, and uh, make sure you keep oiling at least two more days after until the symptoms go away. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today. Again, my name is Joanna Hasselman with EssentialHealth.com, and this is Tiffany Rowan from TiffanyRowan.com. We thank you guys for joining us.